Hi my hiking friends, it is nice to see you here and today let's DIY some snow caters. So the winter is here. Well, it has been for many months now and I even have had the chance to go on one winter hike this year, but I saw a huge gap in my uh, winter hiking gear closet and it was snow caters. It was quite annoying to keep the snow out of my shoes so I thought I would DIY myself some because they aren't very hard to do if you have some basic knowledge of sewing. I didn't have to buy many things for this uh, project so let's get started. For this project you need some kind of material to sew the gaiter from. I am using some old rain pants that don't fit me anymore well and I don't like to wear rain pants anyway. And I have already cut one leg off from the pants because I already sewed one gaiter for myself to test out my ideas and they worked great. You can also buy some material from the shop. It doesn't have to be a waterproof material but it can be a bit uh, more durable fabric if you know that you are going to walk with these gaiters through some thick bushes. Then you need some uh, velcro and some rubber bands. I have here a bit thicker rubber band and then thinner ones, but you can use all the same ones. You don't have to buy different sizes. I just had them lying around. One hook for one gaiter. I bought them in a box, but you don't need the second part of the set. You only need uh, hooks. Then uh, I used some uh, stronger ribbon I had at home, but you can cut some out from your fabric and uh, sew yourself some ribbons. And of course you need some thread, safety pin, a needle and a sewing machine. Oh, and of course some scissors as well. The first task is to cut your fabric. If you are using old pants, then just cut off the legs or you can cut a rectangular piece uh, from your fabric. Now, as my fabric is from pant legs, I am cutting it open so I will have this rectangular piece of fabric. But now let's sew a tunnel at the one edge of the cater. This will be the bottom part of the cater. Just measure a approximate width of your rubber band. Uh, here I pinned them with those uh, needles here. Then before sewing, if you have finished making the tunnel, then attach the ribbons at the bottom edge of the tunnel. This will act as a loop for the rubber band that will go under your heel. And this is how it should look before sewing. And now let's sew. If you sew the ribbons, go back and forth so the ribbon will be firmly attached to the seam. If you have finished that, put a safety pin on top of your rubber band and this will help you guide the rubber band through the tunnel we just made. When you have done that, sew the ends of the rubbers together so uh, it will stay fixed. I just eyeballed how strong of a rubber edge I want to have and of course burn off all the edges that you can so the rubber band or the ribbons or other other like loose ends will not will not thread. Now let's do the velcro. Take one part of the velcro and attach it to the gaiter. Here I tried to pin it to the fabric but as the velcro is so tough I couldn't do it. I will add another ribbon at the edge of the gaiter and this will act as a loop to hold our hook in place. Before starting to sew the whole velcro to the gaiter I am attaching the ribbon to the velcro and to the gaiter. And now I'm just sewing all of the edges of the velcro. And let's do the other side as well.
one thing that happened to me, I sewed too close to the edge of the Velcro ribbon and it started to thread on me. So I just had to sew a bit more uh, closer to the center of the Velcro. It really doesn't matter, it stays on the fabric anyway, but uh, yeah, be careful, don't sew too close to the edge. This is how it should look for you at this stage and please notice if you are not using uh, pant legs for this project you have to sew another tunnel at the other end of your gaiter as I am showing here as I have it all sewed up I don't need to do anything with that. Now it's time for the hook. Remember the small ribbon that we sewed at the very corner of the gaiter? Now let's sew a hook onto that ribbon. Once that is done, it is time to place one rubber band through the bosom loops that we sewed onto the edge. This will go under your heel, but I will show you later on, don't worry. Now I am threading another rubber band through the top Part of the gaiter and this will go under my knee uh, where I will tie the gaiter uh, onto my leg and the rubber band just helps it to be more tight but still uh, allows me to move freely and will not limit my blood circulation hopefully and this is it now let's try them on they look really good and I'm super proud how they turned up the only thing that I would change in this design is uh, some kind of extra attachment um, at the edges of the Velcro because I am afraid that when the Velcro wears down and as the rubber bands are pulling the Velcro apart a bit they will start to get loose from the corners uh, near the hook and also at the top but, but yeah, that's the only thing that I would consider changing in this design but uh, in general they were really simple to make and I also got to upcycle some of my old stuff that I don't use anymore, so success! So that's it, that's all I have for you today, I have my gaiters now here and I can go on another winter hike with a calm heart. If you enjoyed this video and you like in general what I am doing on my channel then please consider donating a small amount each month, it helps out a lot. Thank you all to my current Patreons, you are the sunshine of my day. But in the meantime you go for a hike because life is so much better in hiking shoes and I will see you really soon, okay, bye!